Welcome back guys. Today we are going to look at port security in switches and learn how to configure port security. Understanding various violation modes in port security. So without any further ado, let's begin our class. What is port security? Okay, let's take this as an example to understand port security better. By default, all interfaces in Cisco switch are turned on, okay? By default. Hence, an attacker can connect to the network using these interfaces and may compromise the entire network, right? So guys, understand that by default, all interfaces in Cisco switches are turned on. Therefore, an attacker who probably might be sitting somewhere can connect their computers using these interfaces then they then they might compromise the entire network suppose they had bad intentions right to prevent a scenario where everybody strange people unauthorized people just access our network what do we do we implement port security right such that any strange or on an authorized user will not use these ports right so how do we implement port security we implement port security in two ways okay we limit the number of mac addresses to a single switch port For example, interface FA0-1, we want to limit that only one computer can access that port, right? So we implement port security on that port such that any strange MAC address that will be seen on that port, then further action will be taken, right? Okay, another way, suppose an unauthorized access is observed, the, tra the traffic will be discarded, right? Suppose any unauthorized access is observed on the switches, on the spots, then any traffic going or coming from that computer or device will be blocked or discarded right all right guys so i hope you understand what you mean by port security and various way or aspects through which we implement port security right so switches landmark addresses when the frame is forwarded through switch port Okay, so by using port security, users can limit the number of MAC addresses that can be learned to a port through the following ways. So a user can limit the number of MAC addresses that can be learned to a port through the following ways. Number one, to manually or statically set the MAC address and the penalties if it is used by unauthorized user okay users can either use restrict shutdown protect port security commands don't worry about the three that's what we're going to look at in the next few seconds okay so another way through which the users can limit the number of mac addresses is by using a method called sticky a sticky command provides users to statically set MAC addresses security without typing the actual MAC address, right? Well, in the first case, you had to type the MAC address, but in the second case, the MAC address will be learned 
through this method okay suppose a computer is connected through a switch port okay so by setting a command sticky the sticky command will learn the MAC address of that particular computer that has been connected to that port even without you going to that computer and checking its MAC address the sticky command will learn that MAC address and your security will be implemented okay for example if you user provide maximum of two users okay then the first two MAC addresses land on that port will be placed in running configuration okay and after land mm, after the second land MAC address if a third user wants to access then the appropriate action will be taken through the violation mode applied when you are setting up security using this MAC addresses you specify how many users do you want to access the port okay so suppose a number that exceed your expectation then a violation mode will be applied right so let's see what we have next port security violation modes a port security violation mode is caused when there is a maximum number of secured MAC addresses has been added to a switch port address table and traffic from another MAC address is received on the switch port right then the second one an address has been seen on a secure port that has already been seen on another secure port in the same VLAN right okay guys so let's look some of the violation modes in port security the first violation mode is the first violation mode is project the second one is restrict the third one is shutdown okay so let's understand across the table do a security violation mode of protect for traffic it doesn't restrict also shut down also okay send syslog messages protect doesn't send restrict will send the message but shutdown will never send it okay display error message they want okay increase increases violation counter protect doesn't restrict will end shutdown will also will right shut down the port protect will not shut down the port restrict will not shut down the port but shutdown will shut down the port whenever any unauthorized user accesses that port the port will be put into shutdown state right okay so guys how do we configure port security so we must enter that interface then set that interface as an, an access mode right then you type port security just like that then port security maximum meaning maximum number of MAC addresses that you want to allow through that port okay then here is it's one right and then now you type that MAC address this is manually we said you can you can manually type it or use sticky command so here we typed it manually right then the violation mode switch port violation shut down right meaning the port will not forward the traffic it will not send syslog it will not display error message it will need, but it will increase violation counter and shut down the port right okay in the second scenario we do the same thing we enter the interface set as access then if we add a VLAN we can specify then the switch security maximum number of MAC address is one then violation mode here is, is still shut down then now MAC address we use sticky right okay so guys let's see this in our practicals all right guys I already drew a diagram comprising of a switch and uh, four computers I connected three computers and uh, I left one to be our test computer 
So I have already given out the IP addresses of these computers. All of them. Okay. We want to configure port security. To which ports? We want to configure to this port, this port and this port. So in this port we are going to set a violation mode as shutdown, then manually enter MAC address. This one violation mode will be restrict, then MAC address will be in sticky mode, right? This one also. So guys, let's start. Enable config T. Then guys, we said you enter that interface first. This one is zero slash one. Zero slash one, okay? So interface FA zero slash one, okay? Switch port mode mode access, right? You enter, right? Then switch port. security you enter then switch port switch port port security maximum only one you want to allow only this computer to access that port at a time right it enter okay then switch port port security MAC address let's go to this computer so that we can copy its MAC address so guys to check the MAC address of, in the com of a computer just click on the computer then come to where it's written config here then first ethernet 0 here it says here it is copy it then let's go back to our configuration and test it there it enter right okay so guys then switch port port security violation shutdown do right okay so let's go back to the second this one is fa0 slash 2 so interface FA0 slash 2 then switch port mode access port se switch port security then maximum one because it's only one computer then MAC address, I want to use sticky. Sti. Okay. Hit enter. And then violation mode. I'm just using arrow up and arrow down to retrieve what I already configured to save time. Okay. So violation mode will be restrict. Okay. Do right. Then interface. Use arrow up and arrow down to retrieve what we have configured earlier. Then switch port mode, access, switch port security, maximum, only one computer. Then we want to learn its, its MAC address through sticky command. Then violation mode S protect. Okay, then do right. Okay, guys, we have already configured for security in the switch. So we want to test if the port security is effective. So let's first check the status of port security. Do show port security. As you can see. As you can see, interface F01, we included shutdown as a violation mode. Okay, and uh, the MAC address was entered manually, right? Then, FA02, restrict, 
sticky and then the third one is violation mode was protect just check on the table we want to violate port security and come back to check the same table okay the first thing that i will do is to test communication is this if this computer can communicate with this computer so just come here and command prong and ping command and ping this one is dot three okay hit enter it's pinging okay then dot two dot two also is pinging okay so guys we have already configured port security in the switches right so guys we want to test if port security is working how do we test we use this test computer okay remember we configured this port to only access to access only this computer right this one only this one or this one only this one so guys let's start with this one i will click there just click on the green icon okay click there and come and click there and connect to that port wait until it it turns green okay so let's go back to our documentation we said that's a protect violation mode we said the computer will not forward the traffic it will not send this message and it will not display error messages okay all right let's go back and try to ping so let's try to ping to which computer dot one so ping dot one so just wait just wait it will not ping it will not ping why because only one computer was configured to uh, to access that port right see time out time out 100% loss okay so let's close this and try the second one just re return it there and try this one come and plug it there wait until until it turns green and now try to ping to ping now this one dot three okay wait until it turns green it will very soon it will it will it will mm, this one until it turns green okay it has turned green so let's try see it will not ping because security port security has been violated and that port cannot forward any traffic okay all right guys the same thing you can do to this switch all right guys the same thing you can do to this to this port here all right to try and try to ping the other remaining hosts so let's check our comp switch again So guys see I said things will be different. Okay? We have violated port security because we try to connect this computer to this port and this computer to this port. And that's why the counter is one one here. Remember in the first scenario it was zero zero. Here. Okay, see zero zero. And now it's come to one one because we have violated port security right so guys port security is a very important concept okay all right so that's mark the end of today's class let's see you again in the next class bye